All right. Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. Today, you guys are watching my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. This is where I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, whatever it selects, I'm going to pull off the shelf, do a quick review, and then let you guys know if I'm going to keep sipping on it until the bottle's gone and replace it, or once the bottle's gone, I'm going to skip it, don't buy it, and move on to something else. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel today and see what we're reviewing. And these are supposed to be about five minute reviews. This is nothing, you know, too in depth. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're reviewing today. So we got the Slane special edition here. Let me go ahead and pull this off the shelf. And this is an Irish blend, I believe, but I have to fact check that. So we have the Slain Special Edition. Now I do believe they have two versions of this. They have a lower proof and then a higher proof. This one is coming in at, I tell you what, my eyes are terrible. Even with glasses, this is coming in at 45% ABV, 80 proof. And just like always, the information is right here, along with my tallies, my ongoing tally of my Sip It or Skip It segments. So let's go ahead and get this thing poured and do a little review on it. So this is an Irish whiskey. Again, I'm gonna have to do a little research because I can't remember. It may be a blend of single pot still and grain. I'm not exactly positive. Doesn't say anything on the back, but it does talk about the legacy of 81 based on, I believe, a concert that was going on at the time. Classic Irish, you get that sweetness, you get that pot still spice. I do get a little bit of a sulfur note, so I'm wondering if this was in, an, in a sherry cask. I do get a little bit of pepper. The initial note is more of a spice than it is sweet, but back behind all of that spice, there is a slight amount of sweet. And to me, I'm getting vanilla and maybe some of the bourbon barrel notes, so the caramel, the vanilla. I get lighter fruit, more of more along the line of a peach. But that slight sulfur note is the one thing that stands out to me the most. Let's get it on the palate, see what I think. Yeah, that's that's good. It's spice and sweet. Coats the tongue rather well. I'm getting sherry. The sulfur note does not show up on the palate, but the pepper note is definitely there. A little barrel tannin, tanginess, bitterness on the back end, which is always good. It's not overpowering. Yeah, that's weird. The sulfur note is on the nose, but not on the palate. Let's get that second sip down. Spicy sweetness. This is $36.99. The finish, I would say, is medium. I do get some ABV burn that kind of hangs around. Barrel influences are here. Hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. It seems to be all over the place, almost like they're using multiple barrels on here. And I do believe they are using multiple barrels. Based on the information on the label in the front, this says extra virgin oak triple casked. So I wonder if the triple cask that I'm getting, I wonder if one of them is an ex bourbon barrel and another one is some type of sherry barrel. If you know how a barrel is going to influence a whiskey, that might set up your mind on what to kind of look for. And after this video is over, I need to do some research to actually figure out what's in there. But my gut feeling is ex bourbon and some type of sherry barrel. On the nose, I get a little bit of peach. That sulfur note is now diminished a little bit. It's still there. I get oaky barrel influence. Let's get that third sip down before I let you guys know if this is a sip or a skip. All right, so that is, that is bizarre. On that third sip, now I do get a little bit of a sulfur taste. It's very subtle, but it's there. I'm going out on a limb here, and I think that pot still spice is there. I do get a peppery note, followed by a really good sweetness. And that sweetness is on the bourbon side, where you get the vanilla and the caramel and the brown sugar. All right, so is this going to be a sip or a skip for me? Again, coming in at around $30, $36, almost $40. And even though I do like the taste of this for $40, I think I would rather go to a green spot. So this is gonna be a skip for me. I'm happy to have this on the shelf. 
And if you don't have an Irish whiskey, there's nothing wrong with this one. Whether it's single malt, whether it's pot still, whether this is gonna be a blend of them or a single grain, I don't think you can go wrong with it. It is good, I like it, but I do think that the other Irish whiskeys that I have will replace this easily. So there you guys have it. It's a skip for me, but it's a good whiskey to have. That's where I'm gonna leave it. So if you guys are familiar with Slane, whether it was the regular edition or the higher proof, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys are liking this information and you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna to try to make a push to the 2000 subscriber mark before May 1st. So if you're interested in helping me out, meet that goal, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Like, subscribe, share, turn on that bell notification. And I guess that's all I got to say for the Slain Special Edition. Enjoy your journey, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, this is a decent $40 Irish whiskey. Look into it if you want.